Hey retirees, we've got some fantastic news that's sure to brighten your day. If you're receiving Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits, get ready for some extra cash coming your way. The government has given the green light for $3,400 payments, and guess what? The first batch has already been sent out. In this video, we're going to dive deep into what this means for retirees like you. Whether you're relying on these benefits to cover your bills, groceries, or medical expenses, or you're just curious about how this impacts retirees across the board, we've got all the details you need. So, why is this such a big deal? Well, for starters, these payments can make a world of difference for retirees who are living on fixed incomes. It means extra breathing room in the budget, a chance to catch up on overdue bills, or maybe even a little treat for yourself. But let's not just talk numbers, let's hear from the retirees themselves. We'll share stories from folks just like you who are already feeling the positive impact of these payments. From easing financial stress to allowing for a bit of extra comfort and security in retirement, these payments are truly making a difference in people's lives. This is officially being called an emergency federal benefit payment by the Social Security Administration. It was approved by Congress and the President in late 2023 as part of the latest economic relief package aimed at offsetting inflation and the rising cost of living. Unlike regular Social Security payments or annual cost of living adjustments, this is a special one-time payment approved due to the recent 40-year high inflation that has eaten into the buying power of fixed-income recipients. The maximum payment amount is $3,428 per eligible recipient. However, the actual payment amount will vary based on each person's specific circumstances, such as their base benefit amount, marital status, and other factors. This $3,400 rebate payment is specifically targeted at lower and middle income Americans receiving the following federal benefits Social Security, Retirement and Disability, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, and Veterans Benefits. There are a few key exceptions those earning above $150,000 per year, or $300,000 for married couples, will have their payment amount phased out or eliminated. Higher income recipients of Medicare premiums may not see the full $3,400 due to deductions, and recent retirees who just started receiving benefits in late 2023 may receive a reduced payment. For those eligible, the emergency payment will come the same way you normally receive your monthly benefit payments, such as direct deposit into your bank account, loaded onto an existing Direct Express debit card, or mailed as a paper check to your home address. The Social Security Administration, Department of Veterans Affairs, and other agencies will automatically determine your eligibility based on your latest available tax returns and benefit payment history. No application or extra paperwork is required so watch out for potential scams asking for money or personal details. There is no single payment date as the rollout is being staggered. For Social Security recipients, payments started in late March 2024 and will continue through May based on the regular monthly schedule. The VA is set to start deploying payments in late April through June aligned with their compensation calendar. While $3,400 may seem modest, it represents potential financial lifeline for 25 million retirees and beneficiaries living on fixed incomes below $35,000 who have seen costs skyrocket due to inflation. Policymakers aim to provide at least three five months of cost coverage to offset inflated expenses until permanent adjustments can be enacted. They benchmarked against previous stimulus amounts while considering the severe impact on seniors and the disabled. The $3,400 figure balanced meaningful relief with budgetary constraints. This rebate provides emergency triage, but the fight continues for permanent reforms to retirement benefits like updated cost of living calculations, minimum benefit increases, less income clawbacks, and shoring up long-term program solvency. Some outstanding questions remain around taxes, recent life changes impacting payment amounts, impact on income limits, asset tests, and potential scams to be aware of. But overall, this critical $3,400 payment aims to help millions of struggling Americans on fixed incomes get by as policymakers grapple with more lasting solutions to the compounding retirement crisis. While the $3,400 emergency rebate aims to provide immediate relief, it has also reignited the broader national debate around the viability and sufficiency of Social Security and other retirement benefit programs in the modern era. 
Critics argue that decades of legislative neglect, shortchanging, and failure to meaningfully update calculations for real-world costs have left America's retirees and most vulnerable in a perpetual state of financial insecurity. For years, annual cost-of-living adjustments COLAs, for Social Security have consistently lagged behind the actual spikes in prices for goods and services that make up the bulk of seniors' expenditures housing, healthcare, utilities, and more. The government's official consumer price index metric used to determine COLA hikes has long been criticized by advocacy groups as woefully inadequate for capturing retirees' true cost burdens. As a result, Social Security checks purchase less and less each year, eroding quality of life. Even before the recent spike in inflation, nearly half of retirees receiving Social Security relied on those payments for at least 50% of their total income. With the demise of traditional pensions and longer life expectancies straining personal savings, tens of millions have little financial cushion outside of their monthly Social Security deposit. For the lowest 25% of income recipients, Social Security effectively serves as their only source of income. This over-reliance on Social Security is made even more precarious by the impending depletion of the program's trust fund reserves. The traditional pay-as-you-go revenue model is fundamentally strained by shifting demographics, with fewer working-age people contributing payroll taxes to support each retiree beneficiary. Within the next decade, current projections show benefit checks may need to be slashed across the board by over 20% if no legislative action is taken to shore up the funding shortfall. Proposed solutions run the gamut raising payroll tax rates, increasing the retirement age, implementing means testing for high earners boosting supplemental payments for low-income seniors, changing investment strategies for trust fund reserves, and more. Yet partisan gridlock and contention over benefit cuts versus tax hikes has stalled substantive reform for years as the clock ticks down. The Department of Veterans Affairs Disability System faces its own litany of issues contributing to financial hardship for former service members. Despite recent overhaul efforts, the disability claims backlog persists with many waiting over a year for initial decisions. Underpayments and improper rejections by the VA are also rampant according to watchdog audits. The VA's caregiver support program similarly lags behind demand, leaving many disabled veterans without affordable access to basic home health services to maintain their independence and quality of life. Outdated ratings criteria are also overdue for modernization to properly account for diseases and conditions prevalent among the current generation of veterans. And underlying both Social Security and the VA system are profound inequities when it comes to race, gender, and income levels. Studies show minority seniors are disproportionately impacted by benefit shortfalls due to lower lifetime earnings, higher poverty rates, and longer life expectancies that strain limited resources. Advocacy groups argue current federal retirement benefits were built on outdated models that reinforce societal disadvantages rather than creating an equitable social safety net. As heated debates over fortifying these vital federal programs continue on Capitol Hill, millions of beneficiaries anxiously await each monthly payment, nickeling and diming to make ends meet. For now, the $3,400 rebate provides a temporary buffer from the relentless tide of inflation and insolvency risks threatening their sustainable retirement. But more transformative, generational changes may be required to truly uplift retirees and disabled Americans from the brink of poverty in their golden years. As the $3,400 rebate payments begin rolling out, they will provide a much-needed financial boost for millions of struggling retirees and those on fixed disability incomes. However, the stark reality is that for many recipients, this one-time payment will be quickly absorbed by the mounting costs and debts they have racked up just trying to get by. According to surveys, over 60% of Social Security beneficiaries have less than $25,000 in total savings and investments. A sizable portion have already burned through any modest nest eggs they had simply trying to keep up with soaring prices for basic necessities like groceries, rent, utilities and out-of-pocket medical expenses not covered by Medicare. Credit card debt among older Americans has skyrocketed in recent years, with the average senior household now carrying over $8,000 in revolving balances a figure that has more than doubled since 2000. With fixed incomes and little opportunity to take on extra work, many have been forced into making the difficult choice of racking up high-interest debt simply to afford life's essentials. Even for those who have managed to stay out of the red by cutting expenses to the bone, 
the $3,400 payment will likely just help them get caught up on past due bills and overdue payments rather than providing any true discretionary income. Housing insecurity remains a growing crisis, with an increasing number of seniors being forced out of their homes or falling behind on mortgage, rent and property tax payments due to higher costs. Older Americans also disproportionately face challenges accessing affordable, quality health care beyond what basic Medicare covers. Premiums, deductibles and cost-sharing have risen exponentially, leading millions to defer care, ration medications, or avoid getting diagnosed due to concerns over medical debt. The payment could provide temporary reprieve, but does nothing to address the systemic issues driving up out-of-pocket spending. Overall food insecurity among the elderly has also risen sharply in the wake of inflation squeeze on grocery budgets and fixed incomes. Looking ahead, many may opt to use the $3,400 to stock up on shelf-stable goods in anticipation of further rising costs. However, the temporary cushion could run out all too quickly given the compounding pressures. For the country's most vulnerable low-income seniors who have painfully cut their expenses to the bone simply to survive from month to month, even $3,400 amounts to just a drop in the bucket compared to the perpetual financial hardships and indignities they face. Anti-poverty advocates argue much more robust, permanent reforms to the federal safety net are required from boosting guaranteed minimum social security benefits to expanding housing, heating, and prescription drug subsidies for the elderly poor.